Ugh, I can't believe I'm stuck in space and studying for the make test. Calvin's exam was so unbelievably hard. I know what you mean, I have to call off work for this. Man, I thought I had this test. It's just the basics of the sympathetic nervous system. But there's a little extra credit section about five-line spots? Ridiculous. Well, since you know so much about the material, why don't you explain it to me? I'm glad y'all asked. So the sympathetic automatic nervous system, aka SAMS, um, prepares the body for physical activity by sending like oxygen-rich blood to areas of the body during intense physical demands. But I mean, how does the brain know when there's danger? Well, the sympathetic ganglia will send information about stress and potential dangers to the body. And once the body receives information, postsynaptic neurons may experience an action potential if the neurotransmitter acetylcholine in the synopsis is strong enough. And then the acetylcholine activates, if it's strong enough, nicotinic receptors, which is an excitatory effect. And so, what exactly do nicotinic receptors do? They trigger postganglionic neurons to travel to their effector sites, which then release the neurotransmitters epinephrine and norepinephrine, which then binds to and activates adrenergic receptors. But I can't really remember what gene Professor Galvez said that could like potentially affect the adrenergic receptors. Well, Professor Galvez mentioned that he made a website about what genes affect flight or fight responses. I'll pull it up real quick. Man, do you think? I love that. Oh, and you can pick your own character too. I'm so picking The Rock. I am so picky, Ruby. I call Shelly. I'm Ruby the Mouse. Hey, do you all hear that voice? Whoa, 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 what happened? What, who are you? I'm Belly. I'm Paulina. JP. And I'm Gianna. Wait, guys, we're in Jumanji. We are the avatars. No, 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 no. I gotta go back. I have a test to do. Wait, who's that coming out that Hyundai? He looks familiar. Huh. Hello, travelers. Welcome to Jumanji. We have a ready to arrive to help us. In order to complete the game, you must solve all the puzzles in order. Um, you might look at your abilities, strength, and weaknesses by tapping your chest. Try it well, and Jumanji is counting on you. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, those are interesting. Dude, for real? Right? For what? What's an MG? I think it has to do with the flag or five responses. Let's just get these puzzles out of the way. Well, Pauline, it looks like you're gonna have to do that. Okay. I got this. Oh god, I think it was Venom. Paulina, where did she go? Hello, she was just right here. Wait, do you hear that? All right, you got this. Don't get angry, don't get nervous. It's it's gonna be fine, okay? You got this, come on. <laughs> Guys, this is water. Wait, how does she stay so calm? That's because she has a regular MG. What's an MG? The best documented gene implicated in aggression is MAOA, which stands for monoamine oxidase A33. In short, it's called the M gene. The M gene encodes the key enzyme for the degradation of serotonin and catecholamines. Excessive reactivity in the amygdala coupled with inadequate prefrontal regulation serves to increase the likelihood of aggressive behavior. Imbalance in testosterone and serotonin slash cortisol levels increases the aggressive behavior because it reduces the activation of the neural system of impulse control and self-regulation. All that silence talk got me hungry. I think I got something in my bag for that. Mm, love. I want some of these. Are they like regular? They're not spicy, right? Oh, no. It'll kill me if it's spicy. Trust me, I would never lie to you. Thank you. <laughs> Those were hot Cheetos. My bad. Guys, look, that's Hoppy Tall. I can show you how to play. That's one of my abilities. Girl, you only got one more time until you die. You suck. Yo, it wasn't even that serious. Uh-oh. Well, Gianna, you never act like that. What's up? I don't know, man. 
Well, I think I know what it is. It's probably because she has the low M gene. What do you mean? People with low M gene exhibit increased anger and score higher on measures indicative of psychopathy. If multiple studies converge their findings of an inverse association between trait anger and aggression and lower M gene binding. That is, individuals higher on personality measures of aggression had lower M gene binding in cortical and subcortical structure. I know some people can have a high M gene too. What's that mean? A study showed that people with the high M gene tend to be more likely to be depressed. The regular M gene works as an antidepressant for those with the high M gene, so that's the reason why there's a high usage of cigarettes during someone's depressive episodes. The regular M gene held from smoking brings the high M gene down. That's why bellies work so much. What? So the horseshoe's at the top. But none of us is able to go grab it. I think one of us is strong enough to go do it. It's you, ain't it? You have to go and grab the horseshoe. Look All at right, you, you're I the got strongest. It. I got go. it. Let's go. Let's get it. Woo! Okay. Get it. Jumanji! Oh my goodness, man, that was wicked. Dude, we made it back just in time for the test. Yeah, really? I feel so much better prepared. I definitely do. We're gonna take the test. Oh, this is game All time. Right. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go.